three episodes in and Agatha all along. I was about to say Agatha Coven of Chaos. That, that was the original title, but Agatha all along is still continuing to be my favorite Disney Plus show so far. Justice for Sharon Davis. And welcome to my safe game and everybody. Thank you guys so much for clicking on another video and joining me here on the Black Gay Comic Geek channel. Today is Friday, September 27th. It's actually my birthday, my 39th birthday. And so if this is your first time coming across one of my videos, if you want to wish me a happy birthday, you can and give me a free gift. You can do me a favor and hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. But let me introduce myself first and foremost. My name is Michael. I call myself the Black Gay Comic Geek. And I always say the things that I love to talk about on my channel has blood, sex, gore, and magic or any variation of the four. So I like to talk about fantasy, superheroes, comic books, action adventure, horror movies. And of course, I like to talk about black representation and queer representation. So if that's something that you're interested in, and plus, like I said, it's my birthday hit that follow button you can also give me a happy birthday gift by hitting the like button it'll really help with the youtube algorithm getting this video out there getting my channel out there so more eyes can get to my channel so more eyes can continue to follow me so i can continue to grow my page continue to grow my channel and everything like that your love doesn't cost a thing hit the like button like share comment interact on this video for the all gay rhythm now with that said guys we are here to talk about like i said probably now my favorite or at least so far in these first three episodes we don't know how the show is gonna end but my favorite show from the mcu to be on disney plus and that is agatha all along episode three this one is going to be a spoiler fail review i did do a non-spoiler review for episodes one and two because when i saw the episodes they weren't out yet but now the episode is out it, it came out on Wednesday. Today's Friday. So if you haven't seen episode three of Agatha all along, go watch that first and then come back here. This episode is called Through Many Miles of Tricks and Trials, just like the song. Through many miles of tricks and trials. I don't know why I lost. I don't know the words. I just down, down, down the road. But anyway, so this episode starts. They are now officially on the witch's road and like i said in the intro of the video justice for sharon davis mrs hart because she didn't ha she wasn't supposed to be here it was supposed to be rio the actual green witch but agatha being stubborn decided to rope sharon davis into this thing who's not even really a witch and she's completely in over her head you even see that in the beginning of this episode where her being trapped in that whole mud she's trying to call she went full karen on there she's like i'm gonna call the cops on you guys this is a kid kidnapping which technically speaking it is and then she was being chased by the salem seven which were really going after agatha but i'm pretty sure they're going to attack all of them because they're all working with agatha they're all in gonna be in their way so they're gonna go after whoever they need to go after to get agatha but i'm just like damn sharon davis you deserved so much better but with that said the rest of the coven find out that we all know at this point this the teen is billy kaplan like it's pretty obvious that he's playing billy kaplan now the thing that i don't know because in the comics like i mentioned before billy kaplan is the reincarnated son of wanda maximoff and part of me especially after this episode i'm wondering if they're gonna retcon billy kaplan's origins and instead of saying he's the reincarnated son of wanda maximoff they're going to say he's re the reincarnated son of Agatha Harkness. He's Nicholas Scratch. He's still Billy Kaplan, but he's not Billy Maximoff's soul. He's going to be Nicholas Scratch. Because, like, the, the three theater terminology of Chekhov's gun, all the moments of, like, the fact that Agatha's so protective of him, the fact that uh jennifer kale had that conversation with him it was like we don't know where his where her son is she wouldn't even know what he would look like if he showed up she potentially sacrificed him from a fist they keep bringing up his son so i'm just or her son so i'm like are they trying to say that he's the son? or it, it could be a red herring this could be a ralph boner situation where he's nobody or she ends up thinking he's her son only to find out that he's the son of her worst enemy, Wanda Maximoff. Or he could be both. He could be the body of Nicholas Scratch and the soul of Billy Maximoff, William Maximoff. Who knows? We'll see. 
But I hope they don't do it where they retcon Billy Kaplan's because he is his obvious he's Billy Kaplan. Like the fact that they're uh, sigiling over his name with the rest, with, which the rest of the witches did find out about. But like he's clearly somebody. But we'll see. But I wouldn't like it if it turns out that Billy Kaplan is the reincarnated son of, of Agatha as opposed to like he is in the just keep it the way he is in the comics. But with that said, like I also feel like after this episode and my friend friend fantastic frankie made this video first but i was thinking it while i was watching i don't think agatha has actually been or at least completed the witch's road because the way she was reacting when she first got there and then also people are like asking like what do we do what do we do and then uh patty lapone's character was just like tame thy fears and agatha was like looking at her like oh yeah you're right the song and then they were look when, when they were looking at agatha trying to figure out what they were doing it kind of reminded me of that song in the 80s episode of wandavision where it was like we're making things up as we go along that's kind of what it felt like agatha harkness was doing when she was giving them advice of how to get through the witch's road she was like it felt like she was making it up like it didn't know like she didn't really know what was happening even when you get into when they got into the mansion and they all had to drink from the wine the way Agatha was moving, her being so fearful, her being so mistrustful, her not wanting to drink the potion, even though while you get to the, when you got to the end of the episode, you clearly saw that they had to all drink from the potion in order to move on from the trial. The way she's moving and being so mis I'm like, I don't think she's ever completed the trial. And I think that's also part of the reason what led her to the dark hole, because maybe she tried the witch's role first. It didn't work out. And so then she tried more alternative means in sacrificing her son to to get the dark hole to get more power because the witch's road wish of her potentially obtaining more power didn't work out so she chose a more darker route but obviously based on this episode each episode is going to be and focus on a different way they keep they even kind of mentioned like this first episode was the potions and this is why you need different types of witches to get through the road because she said she need we need a potions witch we need a divination witch we need a protection witch so each episode is going to be their episode in a certain extent, but even still, I still wish there were more episodes in the season because when you get to this episode, you see there's so much backstory and like, you know, with finding out about Sasha Zamita's character, Jennifer Kale, or uh, when it comes to Patty Lapone's, I don't know why I can't remember her name, Lila, I think, Patty Lapone's character, uh, the, the Asian witch cat, I can't remember any of their names, but the Asian witch's character and her mother, like, I would like to learn more about their backstory. And obviously, we're going to get some as we get throughout more episodes, but the fact that there's only nine episodes total, there's only going to be but so much that they can tell in those nine episodes because we still also have to learn more about Agatha and we still have to learn more about who this teen is and they still have to get to the end of the witch's row and we need to find out more about Rio and her relationship with Agatha plus these other witches. Like, there is a lot to tell in nine episodes and i feel like this show could really use maybe like 12 to 15 but it is what it is it always ends up being the case where i'm just like dang i wish we got more episodes but either way i'm still really enjoying this show so far but i love seeing the fact that agatha is so haunted by whatever happened in the past with regards to her son and then that also is it's a great callback to wandavision and why agatha perhaps wanted Wanda's power so much because she's the mythical Scarlet Witch and it's said that the Scarlet Witch can pretty much do anything and if you also remember in one of the episodes of WandaVision where Wanda's kids were saying mom you have the power to do anything bring back the dead make Sparky not dead again and you saw how Agatha was hopeful when she was like can you really do that and now we know that it's possibly to, she was hoping that maybe Wanda had the power to bring back her son. And that's also why she's so, like, again, why she wanted the power of the Scarlet Witch to be able to bring back her son. Because if it is true that she sacrificed her son to get the dark hole, that's a mistake that she probably regrets or that she wishes she can take back or whatever. Something clearly happened to her son, whether she sacrificed him or not, because that's the rumor, but we don't know if that's true or not. But she, she got the dark hole somehow. But speaking of that, they finally name dropped a character that people have been clamoring and calling and predicting since WandaVision. They finally name dropped Mephisto. And there's rumors that Mephisto is going to show up as a main character and one of the main villains in Ironheart, played by 
uh, Sasha, Sa- Sasha Baron Cohen, yeah, Sasha Baron Cohen, whatever his name is, uh, Borat, which I always found was weird to have Mephisto show up in an Ironheart series. Like, I get they said Ironheart is going to be magic versus science, but like, let that be the hood character. Mephisto is a huge magical character. For, so for that to show up in like Ironheart and not like a Doctor Strange movie or even WandaVision or even in this show, like I just think it was, I just thought it was a weird choice. But either way, he was still name dropped. So I was excited because I'm just like Mephisto, 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 like Mephisto, Mephisto. And I, I, like I was like the, the, the seagulls on Finding Nemo, like mine, 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 Mephisto, 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 Mephisto. Like every, every time you turn around, like, cause he connects to so many characters when they, within the MCU, whether it was Thanos, cause he connected to Thanos during the Infinity, uh, uh, Infinity Gauntlet Saga. Uh, uh, why am I drawing a blank? Wanda, with regards to her two kids. Loki, Doctor Strange, uh, Doctor Doom, ex- Spider Man, with the whole No Way Home storyline. Like so many different characters throughout Marvel Comics. So I'm just like, it would make sense for him to show up. He first showed up in a Silver Surfer comic. But you know how they say, be careful what you wish for. Be careful what you wish for because Sharon Davis, when she went into that magical kitchen, she said, bury me alive in that kitchen or something along those lines, which ended up being the same place that she died. Because being that she's not really a witch, she's really an afterthought in the coven. And so even though they figured out the potion to keep them from being poisoned, they didn't get her strand of hair. And so the potion didn't work on her. And so by the end of the episode, she ended up dying. And I'm just like, damn. They just really- Granted, the actress, I'm like, she's getting a paycheck. So even though she died in episode three, that's still three episodes of work that she got. But it's still just like, damn. They really just treated her as at like Sharon Davis deserved better. She suffered again. Like I said, she suffered under the hands of Wanda. And now she's suffering again under the hands of Agatha in the witch's road. And this is really just a, another way to bring in Rio because obviously they're down a green witch. And so they're going to have to figure out some way to summon Rio into the witch's road. And we know and we know that Aubrey Plaza is going to be in the show and going to be in the witch's road because we saw set photos of them, all of them together in the witch's road. So we know what we know that's going to play come into play. We just don't know how she's going to get there or maybe she's been following them and will show up after the death of Sharon. Maybe she'll show up in the next episode, episode four. But I'm also really curious of how much does Teen know? Because obviously he's he said he's done an obscene amount of research on Agatha. Part of me is also like, where did he find this knowledge from? He knows about the witch's road. And I also don't think his wish is to get power. I think he already has the power that he claims he wants. It's something else that he wants. Probably if he is the son of Wanda to wish for his mother back to wish to bring his mother back to life or to bring his, not his father, because Vision's already alive, but to because we know a Scarlet Witch movie is coming, so bring his mother back. Or then also, where is his brother? Where is Tommy? Maybe bring him back to life. Bring them both back to life. Who knows? I don't know. We'll find out. But yeah, I love this episode. Now with that said, I do have to say, Funko did release like the Funko Pops for this show. And they tweeted or whatever the Funko Pops. And so you saw every character. And so they did reveal who Teen is playing and who Rio is playing. Like their actual identities. If you don't want to know, don't like try to stay off the internet. But with that said, I don't want to see it in the comments because there are people that don't know. So don't spoil it in the comments because that hasn't come up yet. You will be, you will, your comment will be deleted and you'll be blocked from commenting on all future videos if you spoil that in the comment section. But I did end up seeing it, so I do know the name. I do know Teen's name and I do know who Rio's actually playing. But I, either way, I'm still curious to see how it's going to play out within the context of the show. But I bring all that up just, you know, for people to like, just, just be aware of the internet, basically, as, as is always the case when it comes to these types of shows. Spoilers abound. But with that said, what did you guys think about this recent episode of Agatha All Along? I'm still loving this. I can't, I can't wait to next week. I wish I could like time travel or jump forward to next week. Or I wish somebody could send me all nine episodes just right now so I can binge watch it over and over and over and over and over again. With that said, what did you guys think about this episode? Again, 
Like, share, comment, interact on this video for the all gay rhythm and the all gay birthday. If this is one of your first time checking out one of my videos, please check out the other videos on my channel. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button and tell your friends, families, and neighbors. I said from family's name. Tell your friends, families, and neighbors about my channel to help me continue to grow. Hit that bell notification button so you're alerted every single time I post a new video. And as always, I will catch you guys next time.